Now in this video, let's talk about it. If you can use the low power mode all the time on your iPhone, and let's get into it. Well, technically it's not like it won't work, right? So the low power mode or power saving mode is gonna be automatically, or at least it's gonna ask you to turn it on when you hit 20 or 10% of the battery, right? So we can turn it on at that point, but you can always just turn it on in the settings or in the control center. So it's not like limited to any kind of percentage, right? So technically, yes, you can use it all the time. There are a few things which you shouldn't know about it. For example, if you charge your iPhone and the percentage reaches 80%, then the low power mode will be turned off automatically, right? So the battery will return back to the original um, like state and capacity, everything will work as before. So if you keep charging your phone, the low power mode will be turned off automatically. Then again, you can turn it back on, but you know, this is just how it happens. And also the reason why the low power mode exists is in a general to limit some features of the iPhone. So yes, you can use it all the time, but just keep in mind that some background app refresh is going to be limited and some features are also going to be not working 100%. So yeah, this is something that you have to keep in mind. Of course, there is the thing like the brightness will get a little lower. Perhaps it will be like automatically set based on environment to save the battery percentage. And yeah, that's that's kind of the thing that will get compromised. Another thing is the automatic locking, you know, the time of inactivity after which the screen will go black. Well, with the low power mode enabled, you don't really have the option and it will always be like 30 seconds. So I like to keep it at five minutes, but with the low power mode, it just doesn't work that way. So yeah, there are caveats and some things to keep in mind, but technically, yes, you can use the low power mode all the time. So that's it. Thanks a lot for watching. I really hope you found this tutorial helpful. Subscribe for more videos and guides like this one, and I'll catch you soon.